Here's another trick for you. Um, I guess you call it number two. They're not really in order, but I'll give you a bunch of simple tricks to get you guys in the business and get started. This is, you notice um, a lot of, uh, you take your older apartments and you put retail in the bottom of it. When you do retail in the bottom of your apartments, if it's on a corner or a busy street, you gotta take out the uh, lawn, take out the apartments on the bottom and then restructure the bottom for retail. When you do the retail, you got a higher cap rate longer terms better income and yeah. it makes the property worth more money which you hardly ever see this on older apartments but uh we've done some and these are definitely we do them on the new ones for sure but like when you do that you're adding extra money and value to the property all the time that's a good simple way to make money um plus when you're doing that you can actually pre-sell the uh units of where you're going to put for the retail before you even close the deal so it's added extra money plus when you get the cash out everything falls into place and you're making big bank and you're adding to the value of the property big time before you even close the deal so another thing you want to notice is that you need to make every property unique to the property like this property here right by a railroad uh, it was an office building and top views in the second level views or third story actually um, you're looking right at the railroad as it goes by it only goes by at certain times of the daytime not much at night and it's a unique romantic look every property has to be unique and different and you're going to tailor things built around that property specific for that property so all my properties are different in a way they're not cookie cutter clones and everybody anybody says oh well we're going to buy the property and just Raise rent, lower expenses, and and that's it. That's just plain average commercial real estate dumb 101. You have to have a plan and a structure and a strategy and know what you can do with each property and change them to make them best benefit the property and have other ag angles and plus better strategies to know to beat out the competition to make it above. If you're in commercial real estate, you need to be in the top 1% versus like on the consumer level and just doing everything that every little ebook says and everybody that doesn't know what they're talking about says. Yeah, they look appear they look rich, but reality is people can look rich when you buy and use a lot of credit and things like that. And it's not even a high level of wealth. But I mean like I've said earlier, there's so much money in commercial real estate and it's there to be gotten if you have the right person to train you and you learn what you're supposed to learn and you everything fight. in this allows you to merge with a builder and get things going once you start get things set up you have your own builder and then you start being able to really redo properties and get things going or set up the management company and use the builder once you do both aspects the development and the commercial real estate side for apartments retail and everything it leads into other things like the railroads buy like office and loft conversions and things like that sometimes you gotta worry about the foundations being bad because the vibration but th those tracks are like several feet off the ground like 20 feet off the ground and it's got cement base and dirt base under it so that doesn't but that brings me up to a thing back in the day there we had a construction company and there's a whole area of houses that had a builder that came in and he laid the foundation over like three or four days of different lazy um, contractors and the cement would settle each day then he would add to it and he did the whole section it was like three miles square so when we had construction we had to go back we could go back and go to every door to door and every house basement leaked so not only were we were able to fix the foundations but most of the time a lot of times uh we would be the first person to buy the property cheap and then fix it ourselves and then the construction company we have was able to do other things so you have to look at the future make the future shine the light like you have a, a flashlight keep your batteries charged and keep the light off yourself because once you start looking at yourself and the problems is and the way you can't fix things and how it's so bad to apartments when you should be looking away to go around it over it or you know under it whatever it takes to learn and make things happen when you start doubting yourself and not really pushing it and not really doing it and you get bored you don't have enough things going on well then you start going backwards and you start to fail so you have to keep your eyes forward so you want to get in commercial real estate
called laying the asphalt today. These properties can look just like these over here. There's a trick to commercial real estate. You get in one, then you start building the same thing right beside it. I do, we do that all over the place. You should give me a call at 312-218-8737 or my office number 312-473-4163. Power. Realize your power. Power. 